I'm now going to talk more about the specifics of the coordinate system in Scratch. And here's what I mean. Right now, I have a very simple code where when I press the up key, cat goes up, down key, cat goes down. And I've already pointed out that in the bottom right hand underneath the stage, it says the X and Y position of my mouse. And in the far right hand corner of my window, it shows the X and Y position of my character. Now, the window here, the actual stage's dimensions, are 360 units in the y direction and 480 units in the x direction. And I know this because if I put my mouse all the way to the top, you'll see that underneath the stage it says that my y is 180. And if I go all the way down, it'll say negative 180. And of course, 180 plus 180 is 360. And same thing for x and y, or the x direction, it's negative 240 and positive 240, which means that the center of this stage is the 0, 0 origin. And if I go to my motion tab, and if I typed in a go to block, go to zero, zero, when I press go to zero, zero, my cat snaps to the center of my stage. Now, I can also use the X and Y positions to sense things. So let's say that I wanted the cat to say he likes it up here every time he gets to a certain height of the screen. So if I grabbed a green flag and a forever block and an if statement, I want to say if his Y position's at a certain height, I want to go ahead and say, I like it up here. So the Y positions are located in the motion tab. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I have X and Y, and I can actually use this. And we need an operator. So if Y is, let's say, greater than, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna use my mouse to figure out, let's say 140, 140, we're gonna say, I like it up here in a little bubble. So I like it up here. So let's give this a try. If I use the up arrows to go up, I like it up here. And if I go back down, the message stays. Now this is because I never told him what to do if he doesn't like it up there or if he's not at the specified height. So let's actually go ahead and hit the stop button. And I could add another if statement saying if y position is less than, let's go here, y position is less than 140, I could then say nothing. And when I say nothing, I literally mean type nothing in the say box. Let's try this. Green flag, he's not saying anything. He says his message, and when I go back down, the message goes away. And there's actually a shortcut in doing this called if else. So underneath the if statements, there's an if else statement, basically saying if something's happening, do this, and at all other times, do something else. So if I were to throw out those two if statements and replace it with one if else statement, let's give this a try. When he goes up to a certain height, he says his message, and else, he says nothing. 